it's AD 30 and this is the event that uh, nobody wants to think about. Jesus is in the upper room. He's having the Passover and it tells us in all four Gospels about this event. In Matthew 26, in Mark 14, in Luke 22, and in John 13. The most complete account, of course, is found in John. There's more verses there about the details. However, without reading the others, you'll definitely miss some richness to this. It's, he's just finished his teaching on servanthood by washing the disciples' feet. And it says Jesus was troubled in the spirit. Well, let me read you the text. When Jesus had said this, he became troubled in the spirit and testified and said, Truly, truly, I say to you that one of you will betray me. The disciples began looking at one another at a loss to know which one he was speaking. There was, there was reclining on Jesus' breast one of the disciples whom Jesus loved. Simon Peter therefore gestured to him and said to him, Tell us who it is of whom he speaks. And leaning back, John asked Jesus, Lord, who is it? Jesus therefore answered, said that it is the one whom I will dip the morsel and give it to him. So when he had dipped the morsel, he took and gave it to Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot. And after the morsel, Satan then entered into him that is Judas. Jesus therefore said to him, what you do, do quickly. Now no one of these reclining at the table knew for what purpose he had said this to him. For there some were supposing because Judas had the money box that Jesus was saying to him, buy things we have need for at the feast, or else that he should give something to the poor. And so after receiving the morsel, Judas went out immediately, and it was night. Yes, it's a sad story. Betrayal is a terrible thing. Uh, betrayal is something that most people can relate to because it's sometime during their life they've been betrayed. And as we see this story, we recognize that Jesus was troubled in the spirit about it. Nevertheless, it tells us that Satan was in Judas and that Judas uh, had actually dipped at the same time Jesus had dipped. That's why the disciples didn't know for sure who it was that he was talking about. Uh, we find that when we read Matthew and Mark. And we also knew, know that it was uh, Something that didn't surprise Judas, he had already bargained to trade in Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. But we know that it had to have hurt. The only way I could equate this for you is to go back and tell you about what happened when I was 13 years of age. When I came home and found my father crying in the hallway with a note in his hand that my mother had left him. You say, well, that's not unusual these days. No, it's not. Uh, but how it happened was more unusual, and certainly you would better understand betrayal. You see, my father and mother had found some friends, and they played cards with them. They did things with them. This man uh, lost his job, and my father felt sorry for him, so he paid him to paint the house to give my mother oil painting lessons and befriended him in every way trying to help him out financially. You see, when my mother left my father, she left with this man that was one of my dad's friends. That was betrayal. Betrayal by a friend and betrayal by his wife. And I listened to my father cry himself to sleep night after night for more than six months. Yes, I, I can think back and clearly see what betrayal must have felt like. Jesus was betrayed by a friend. He was the one that would sell him out for 30 pieces of silver. And Jesus knew, down deep in his heart, the motives 
of Judas was nothing more than greed. How often have we betrayed Jesus? Perhaps for not 30 pieces of silver, but just not doing what he asked us to do or not being what he asked us to be. Think about that today. How have we betrayed Jesus? That's my thought for the day. God bless you and have a great day. Thank you.